Theirs was a case that kept New York and much of the country riveted in the late 80s and is the subject of the Emmy-winning series this year called When They See Us. Both talk about how the five teens ended up confessing to raping and almost killing jogger Trisha Maley, a crime they didn't commit. The system is still broken. We got to make sure that we do everything in our ability to make it right. And if we don't do everything in our ability, it will continue to be broken. Yusuf Salam was one of the five teens known as the Central Park Five, who now go by the Exonerated Five. He was joined by Corey Wise, another of the five, to promote five pieces of state legislation today designed to prevent people from having to endure what they did. The proposals would ban police deceiving detainees and require lawyers to be present at the questioning of juveniles. It's just us. The idea is for conditions like those under which the five falsely confessed to not be repeated. The bills would also require the questioning of detainees to be recorded, and when anybody can prove they've been wrongfully convicted and incarcerated, they'd get compensated. A million dollars per year for every year of wrongful incarceration. It's not the first time we've seen the five seeking greater justice. We've taken this loss as a positive for us. They have before fought for and won reforms working with the Innocence Project. Now they seek at least one more. The fact that law enforcement can use deception in an interrogation room, knowingly use false facts to compel false confessions is unacceptable. Defended their methods of legally getting convictions that are lawfully carried out. One method that is used in New York City is a DNA database of people who've come in count, who've had encounters with police. A fifth measure that's being called for in Albany would be to eliminate that DNA database altogether. A variety of legislators saying they're convinced that some or all of these reforms will pass because Democrats control both houses of the state legislature now. We're now reporting live from Harlem at the north end of Central Park. I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.